Welcome! In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A25 and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now that being said, um, my device is in a setup process but the process uh, of performing a reset doesn't change and it also allows you to get rid of a screen lock if you have one set on your device that you don't know i will clarify this i don't have screen lock because obviously this device is in a setup process but i will go through a way of resetting it as though it would have i'm gonna just mention both of the methods if you know it or if you don't and i'll also mention that when performing a reset like this through recovery mode in order to get rid of a screen lock if said device also has a google or samsung account signed in it will most likely become FRP locked afterwards. And what that means is when you go into the setup like this one, once the reset is finished, the device will force you to connect to Wi-Fi network and afterwards it will present you with uh, the screen lock that was previously used on the device and the Google or Samsung account. Then you can verify that the device is yours based on either providing the previous screen lock or the signed in account. And if you can't provide either one of those, you won't be able to finish up the setup. Now, with that being said, in previous occasions, I would have been recording a video on how you can bypass this, but at this point, since some time ago, Samsung has basically patched up everything that was working, and I don't have any way to bypass this as of now and uh, for the past like half a year, I believe. So I do want to point that out that at the moment, there is nothing that can be done about this as far as I know. Now, to get started, we will need a cable that is plugged into your computer so we can boot our device into recovery mode. It needs to be specifically plugged into your computer. And we can plug it in right away. Now, for the people that want to do this process in order to get rid of a screen lock, you will need to hold the power button and volume down. And for the people that do this uh, with knowing their screen lock, you can just hold your power button and select power off. But like I mentioned, I'll be showing it as though there would be a screen lock and I don't know it, so I'm gonna hold the power button, volume down. And obviously if you have a screen lock, it will show that to you and uh, you might want to interact with the display. Once it turns off, switch to power button, volume up. And you will see Samsung and then Galaxy, at which point you can let go of the power button, but keep holding volume up. And this will then redirect us to the recovery mode. We can also unplug the cable, it was only needed to get us into this mode. Next, using volume buttons, you want to select Wipe Data Factory Reset and then confirm it using your power button. Confirm that by selecting Factory Data Reset the same way. And at the bottom, you will see Data Wipe complete after a moment, at which point Reboot System Now will be selected by default, so press power button once again to confirm that. And the device will now begin. Uh, resetting itself in the background. It will take it like two, three minutes to finish this up. And once that's completed, we will be presented with the setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible for me. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.